Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another problem from lead code. Decrypting a string from alphabet to integer mapping. So we are given a string S formed by digits 0 to 9 and a hash symbol. We want to map S to English lowercase characters as follows. Basically characters A to I are represented by numbers 1 to 9 respectively. Character J to Z are represented by 10 hash to 26 hash respectively, right? So return the string form after mapping. It's guaranteed that a unique mapping will always exist. For example, uh, S is given as 10 hash, 11 hash, 12, right? That is the input string. The output should be J, K, A, B. So that's what it is. You might be wondering, 10 hash, 11 hash, 12, right? So J, K, L, that's what you, you might be wondering. But uh, as per the definition, right? From J to Z, they should be ending with a hash symbol. So 10 ends with a hash symbol, that is J. 11 ending with a hash symbol, that is K. But 12 is not ending with a hash symbol. That means there is another mapping that we need to look back that is one treated need to be treated individually and two also need to be taken individually so one what is what is for one one is a right likewise two is b if it was like 12 hash symbol right then obviously the output would be j k and l but in this case since hash symbol is not there at the end of 12 right it's j k a b right so for example here in the second example one three two six hash right so one three so 13 but 13 is not ending with a hash symbol right so one and three should be taken individually so two six and a hash right two six should not be taken individually so David since it is ending with hash symbol the two preceding characters should be combined with a hash symbol that means 26 hash is z one is a three is c and 26 hash is z so so wherever there is a hash symbol you need to look two previous symbols to come up with the right character so that's the catch here that's it so uh, let's go with the last example, the number four, right? So the, this is a pretty large string, which has almost all the uh, lowercase uh, letters, right? So this is how it is. This is a good example to look at actually. So 10 hash, 11 hash, 12 hash, all this, right? So wherever hash is there, you need to look to pre previous symbols. So that's how it is. So the logic for this program is pretty simple. So for when you have a hash symbol in the third place, right? That means you need to read first and second letters or the characters together, right? So here in the third place, there is a symbol that is hash symbol. That means you need to read one zero together. And after we process this, right, again, from here third place one two three right third place there is a hash symbol so you need to read this together so that's the basic logic so let's go look at the code how we are going to do this right so since we are going to return a string let's form let's declare a string builder va variable here and we are going to start with the index i is equal to zero so while i the index is less than the strings length s is the given input string so what we are going to check is if the i plus 2 is hash so basically let's go right so uh, one two two six hash right let's say this is also hash right yes so this is zero this is one two three four five so these this is just the indexes right 
so this is a string right and these are indexes, indexes right indexes, right so now i is at zeroth position what we are checking is i plus 2 is is equal to hash or not yes i plus 2 is i is 0 plus 2 is 2 so in this case plus 2 this is hash yes of course this we need to check because uh, if it is already at the le greater than the s length right then we won't be able to uh, check s, plus, s of i plus 2 because it will fail right if this is if this condition satisfies that means we have to read these two characters together so that's what we are reading so just convert this sfi sfi plus one into a string and convert that to a character so 12 hash right so this this whole thing is one so what is 12 as per the definition 10 is j 11 is k 12 is l so we need to convert this 12 hash to l right and 26 hash is z so that's what we need to convert to right output right but how do we convert this 12 hash to l is the question so we are going to take a help of the ascii table ascii character table ascii right so small a the lowercase a this value is 97 in ascii so ascii of ascii of a is 97 that's how it is so we are going to use this data point in our code but as per the given directions right a should be going as one right so one should be treated as a so what we are going to do is in order to get 97 right we need to add 1 to 96 right so 96 plus 1 right so this one if we see anywhere in our string right that means it is a so we are going to take the base number as 96 and add all the numbers that we encounter in this string so for that case we are saying 96 plus whatever the string that we obtained here so that is 12 right so 96 plus 12 we have to convert that to a, to a character that character will be appended to sp so in this case what we are appending is l in our example in this case 1 2 right we are appending l and we need to increment i by three places because we have read s, s of 0 s of 1 and s of 2 so we are here s of 3 now so 26 that we are we have to read right so we'll go back i i is at number 3 3 plus 2 is 5 it is still less than land so s of i plus 2 is equal to hash yes it is hash and then it will what we are going to do is 26 2 6 these two letters and 96 plus 26 that we will get converted into z this time so our output is z let's say let's say we will take a similar example right one two two six hash right let's say this is our string this time and the indices are zero one two three four right so these are indices we are going to go through the same thing again uh, same code right anyway this ascii information we are going to use in the same similar manner so now so we are at zero and i is less than s dot length yes i plus 2 is less than s dot length yes s of i plus 2 is hash but s of i plus 2 is not hash right in that case what we are going to do is we are going to read one single letter one single character so that is just one 
So, that 1 we are going to add it to 96. 96 plus 1 is 97. If you convert that to CAR, it will be A. 97 is A. That's what we learned. As Q of A is 97, right? We'll just reverse engineer that. 97 is A. We're converting it to a CAR, right? And then we increment I by just one space, one, one place. So, I is at 1. So, that is 2. So, 2 2 plus 2 is still less than uh, length, but 2 plus 2 that is 4. So, we are at i is equal to 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, but 3 is at 3 at is index, right? The character 6 is there, which is not equal to hash. So, now we will go to else, else part. Again, we are going to take one single character. That is just this 2. What is 2? two? Are we are going to add 2. 96 plus 2 is 98. 98 is B, right? ASCII of 98 is B. And we are going to increment I by 1. I is now at 2. So, 2 plus 2 is still less than the S, S dot length. But this time, S of I plus 2 is equal to hash. Yes. We are at I is equal to 2, right? Plus 2 is 4. This is hash. In that case, what we are going to do is, we are going to take two characters this time, 2 and 6, right? So, 96 plus 26, which is Z. So, that is what we are going to return. So, A, B, Z is the answer for this, right? So, the time complexity for this is time is equal to order of uh, length of S right length of s right so if if you say length of s is let's say n right so it will be order of n time complexity but space complexity right space complexity so since we are converting um, the string which is in the integer and uh, uh, hash format we will be able to only approximate it right we will be only able to approximate the space so it will be anywhere ranging from n to sorry n by 3 to n so if n is the length right n is the strings length the space which is required to return the answer will be anywhere range from n by 3 to n so, we can just go through one example here, right? So, 1, 2, hash, 2, 3, hash, right? So, here the length is 6, right? But the output, just for simplicity, let's, let's take 26, right? Yeah. So, 12 hash is what? L, right? 12 hash is L. And 26 hash is Z. So, the length that we are returning is 2, right? So, where n is 6, the output is n, just 2 characters. That is n by 3, right? That is 6 characters. 6 by 2, right? Which is equal to 6 by 3, right? So, that is the reason why this is the minimum that we need for the space, right? Let us say if this is the thing. If that is the thing, right, which does not have any hash symbols, that means all of them are falling into the A to I, A to I, right, all of them are falling into 1 to 9, right. So, that means we need the n space, right, here the space required is, the length is 5. So, in the answer also, what we need to do is, a, B, B, F and A, right? So, this is, sorry, B. This is also equal to F. So, what we will say is the space is order of N by 3 to N. So, since we, in general, the big O notation, we do not really need, take the constants or anything, right? So, overall, we will say order of 
and 